Hello and welcome to The Note. We are seeing some fairly extreme positioning ahead of the two big events that are coming at the end of the week, the meeting of the European Central Bank on Thursday and then non-farm payroll unemployment data here in the US on Friday. The euro has now dropped to its lowest level against the dollar in some 11 years. The trade-weighted dollar index similarly is at a new high for the year and hence a new high since 2003. Stocks here in the US are off for the day while European stock markets have had a good day. Plainly, some kind of a bet going on here that the disjunction between monetary policy in the US and Europe will continue or indeed deepen. Now, one interesting contribution to make on this fascinating debate concerns wage inflation. It's a point that many politicians are making that American middle class wages have stagnated. Could that in fact be uh, a case of reverse money illusion? Now that's the argument made by Jim Paulson of Wells Capital who tends to be uh, an outlier in this debate. There's nothing wrong with that. What I can show you here is uh, the course of average earnings uh, over a few decades and you can see that on that basis you can see there, there's plainly reason for concern about this recovery reason for the Fed to think twice about raising rates. Now let's look at that deflated by uh, inflation, look at this in real terms, and you can see that the low inflation we've had uh, recently, obviously the, the boom coming from low petrol prices, really changes the picture a lot. It begins to look as though uh, wages are recovering, buying power is recovering uh, at a noticeable clip, and it really would make a lot of sense for the Fed to start tightening and do so rapidly. You get a similar picture if you take a look at how earnings have recovered in previous cycles. If you look at them nominally, this recovery barely looks like a recovery at all. If you look at them in real terms, this recovery might even be stronger than most. I don't know exactly what the Fed is looking at, but certainly the strength of wage recovery is very important, both for politicians and for the Fed. That number will be watched very closely indeed and I certainly agree with Mr. Paulson uh, if you see wage, wages finally beginning to pick up noticeably that would increase the risks not only that the Fed raises rates but that they do so somewhat faster than people currently expect.